So on a previous video, we explained about uh, how I could put, fit 162s on my deck. Still turn, still load, still get around. It's not as easy as it kind of appears. What you have to do, what I did is you, you got to jackknife the trailer really good in order to get the ramp out, which is a little tricky. So even if I had no extension on here like I built, it would, it would be tough to do. Uh, we could probably still get it jackknifed enough to get the ramp out. I don't even think the ramp's going to come out now. Oh yeah. So it is a little tricky. It does hit a little bit. But it's not that bad. It's kind of a two-man operation, but one guy can do it. Yeah, see, it's pretty tight, but it works. I can get 62s on here like a dam. We're going to go ahead and load up my cat on here. I need some weight on the truck for when we're heading home. Please subscribe. And remember, anybody watching, momentum. Momentum's a key. You don't want to hit it too fast. You don't want to hit it too slow. <laughs> You don't want to be juiced. Make sure you're not juiced. We'll put up the scratcher so we got no problems. Okay. So now we don't. We got a pretty steep attack angle, but not too bad. So just momentum, that's all you need. Line it up, get it nice and straight. So, as you can see, I went and bought two inch stock, uh, solid steel. I bought an adapter, I believe a Canadian tire, Princess Auto, wherever it was, the receiver part. So. It's my own homemade adapter. It's only 18 inches long, but it's just it's right. Just right for this application. Um, I try to keep it tight to one side because the the flop or slop you call it in the, these two and a half inch receiver hitches on the trucks are kind of shitty. Bounces around a little bit. Um, so yeah, if you guys can do that. This trailer sits really high, which does kind of help jackknife it better. Uh, again, I told you about how high I like the trailer. It's nice. It's easy to get around You can go up any kind of road. You can get into the ravines. It's fine. I can put uh, Two 162s on here Still turn still go up and down the road uh, It's an eight-foot ramp on an eight-foot bed truck long bed truck So I'm gonna pull ahead and as you can see I got a ton of room there. Well, not a ton, but I mean it's enough So you put two 162s on here. I know the sled's in the middle, which makes it a little easier, but you can still throw two 162s on here, 163s. I haven't tried a 174, but you never know. <laughs> so hit that subscribe button, guys, and turn on that bell notification, and you'll be getting a lot more of these videos. Wait till we get this sucker tuned. She's going to be ripping. <laughs>